What's up guys, Alf here back with some Haunt on Muji and uh, it's that time of the week again where we have the notice here states that it's going to be maintenance and yeah, they're going to be doing maintenance from 2am EST to 5am EST um, <clears throat> It's currently 1.08am EST and this video I'll be talking about what you need like if you want to get carried in Soul 10 because I keep getting these questions a lot a lot of people have already like cleared they've already cleared Soul 10 with the bunny method and they're like I'm stuck now so, so I've cleared it and now I can't farm it because it takes 20 minutes so I'm like no the, the whole reason for clearing Orochi stage 10 you clear it so that you can farm Kraken which we will do one right now alright um, so many stuff Right, so we're gonna go just find one Kraken. Um, you do this so that you can enter Kraken and farm it like once every hour and in hopes to get G6 souls and also for the EXP bonus so that you can G6 your DPS first. Because most people just do the bunny method without having a G6 DPS. Then after that, after you've cleared the soul 10, you just keep doing Kraken once an hour and whilst you keep doing your exploration mode. Alright, so that, that was one of the ways to like do many things simultaneously so it's like you don't farm souls you only farm souls on specific days like um you only farm i'm, I'm i only farm on well scarlet days seductress and shadow days that's all i farm on all right hold up uh oh it's ashiki so we're going to talk about the minimum stats that you kind of need to be able to do that because a lot of people seem to not understand that fact uh, by now in the game there'll be many people with dual DPS so you can actually and, and a lot of people are too lazy to press the you know you have, you have to press the end the battle then after that you have to press start battle then after that you have to click ready and stuff so a lot of people are so annoyed at that fact so they're looking for hosts and um, what I'm going to talk about today is to prep you on how to become a host and all you need to do is just find people who have like double DPS and yeah you can just soul 10 with them and also I'll also give you stats for your own G6 DPS like what you need if you want to like be able to like use your own DPS as well all right cool come on drop me some G6 souls or something Okay, so so yeah, my luck is equally bad also. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't, but I mostly run Kraken for the EXP to bring up my fodder up. You know, the two spectators that is. Oh yeah, let's talk about this. Uh, I've got someone that was messaging me earlier, right? And uh, he is stuck in a situation where he has a G6 to tag me, right? And he has 86% crit rate. You know, he's got more than enough attack. He's got more than enough speed, HP, everything is great. You know, like crit damage, obviously you want more, but he's still just, he says that he just started playing and um, he only has a G5 crit seductress. So we'll talk about the DPS one first, I guess. No, let's not talk about DPS one. Let's just say that you're in this same boat. Let's just assume you're in the same boat, right? And he's like, how do I farm it? Because he can only farm soul eight on his own. What I, what I can say is, the first thing you want to do is, you're going to go to Onmyoji. Switch. You're going to choose Seimei. Seimei is going to have these skills. Spell, Star, and Protect. You want these two skills equipped. You want Totem to level 36 minimum, if possible level 40. Why? Because at, that, at level 36, you will get this kind of stats. So this is more than enough stats to tank it and... Uh, also, when Stamey does spell star and you have a bunny, what happens is that but this star buff, the, the damage dealt increased by 30%, that attack buff, that overrides the bunny's one. So when bunny gets a turn again and she does the bunny, then she will do the bunny toss instead of doing the ring toss. You know, she'll do the bunny dance in front instead of doing ring toss. So what you need, very simple. We just need two R-rated Shikigamis. They're called Yamausagi, okay, and Zashiki. Just these two. Bringing them to G4 is enough. 
G4. What you need is minimum 6,000 HP, 6,000 just plus a bit, and minimum 161 speed. That's all you need. If possible, like have all, like have this 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 skill, Bunny Dance Max. All right. If you have Bunny Dance Max, that'd be great. Um, minimum 6,000 HP and a total of 161 speed minimum. I have her here at 178. Doesn't really matter. Like 161, one whatever. Okay, it's good enough. That's all you need to be able to tank the Orochi. So, build the Yamausagi with minimum 6000 plus HP and 161 speed and having Bunny Dance maxed. At G4, it should be really simple to achieve. Zashiki, same thing. G4. Have her souls, like have a few, like have her sold up with uh, Fortune, uh, sorry, with Bunny. Obviously, of course, needs to also have Fortune Cat, alright? Fortune Cat is all you need. Fortune Cat is all you need there. Zashiki, Azure would be best. Azure Basan, this chicken here, rooster, I don't know, is it chicken rooster? Not sure what it is. But it grants three orbs at the start of each battle, including the start of each each round. So it's like, yeah. So this will ensure that you always start with three orbs, okay? Again, her stats. Well, 9,000 HP, 8,000 plus HP will be great. And speed, you need to tinker around with the speed. Like, some people will go in and their DPS will be hella slow. If the DPS is hella slow, just make sure that she's like one speed above them. Or if you need like one speed below the first DPS. But that, that would be a bit complicated. I'll just make her ensure that she's faster than everyone else and it will still work. Alright? So what you need is 8000 HP. Then the speed will probably go from between 120 to 130 depending on, on who you're running with, right? So try to have like a few a, a set of Azure and like a few different speed souls that you could play around with, you know, in, instead of like, let's say you put if I take off that 120 speed, it becomes 1112. One, I say the DPS is slower than 112. Than one, like they're all Utengus and they're all at base. So 112 one, speed is enough. You just have to match it with the people that you're going to be running with. Right? That's all you need. Same me, level 36. Bunny G4 at this. And then uh, when you host, you only bring one unit. So you can tell the person that, oh, I can only bring either Yama Usagi or Zashiki, but I'll match your speeds or my Yama is good enough to tank the, the boss and stuff, and it'll be fine. And of course, most people have, most people have like two G6 DPS by now. I mean, like most people who aren't so casual, I guess. Um, hey, just ask in, in Gale chat, you know, just ask in world chat, trying to find some friends. It's a very social game. If you want to do this alone, then it's it's completely different. We're, we're not on the same page right now. Right now, I'm talking about how you want to farm via teaming up. All right. So again, it's like so stage 10 by teaming up. Why why teaming up? Because again, if you go alone, it's going to cost you 6 AP. But if you're going by team, it's only going to cost you 4 AP. And if I'm going to finish up like 40 runs, all right, um, I I can do like 42 runs with 4 AP. But if I was going to go alone, I can't even do 30 runs because 30 runs would be 180 AP and now I only have 170. So it'd be like 28 runs. It's a big disparity there. I mean like 10 runs is good enough to give you a lot of stuff, right? So yeah, again, this, this video is about those who have already cleared the Orochi stage 10 like they did the, the whole bunny cheese method and now they're like oh how do i farm the souls because it's going to take 20 minutes like 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 how this guy said he's like um i did bunny trick but it takes 25 minutes every time so then i'll say all i said to him was yeah you're only supposed to clear it one time then after that just farm kraken for like a week to get your g6 shiki but uh, i'll explain more detail in this video so yeah after you cleared it just keep farming Kraken for a week and, and do the chapter 16 or whatever chapter that you're comfortable with to bring up your DPS and your other supports to, to G4, G5, whatever it is that you like. And once you're done that, right, what you want to do is you're going to look at souls. With, you just need 100% crit rate is all you need. Okay, Crit damage, 150, like let's say you have no crit damage stats at all. 150 crit damage, right? Basic. is good enough. Then all you need is a, a five plus 55% attack here, plus 55% attack here, that's 
So about 110 to 120 percent attack, which is going to be 100 percent of this is another plus 3,000. 20 percent of that is 600. So plus 3,600 would be good enough. You know, even if it's plus 3,000 attack, it would still be okay. Like as long as you have a possibility to proc seductress, that's it. That's all you need. Okay, if that's your, if you're talking about the DPS, like you're like, oh my DPS is not strong enough. But I think that if you have 100 percent crit you have 150 percent crit damage which is the base and you have about 3000 plus 3000 plus attack should be more than sufficient to handle um orochi like the speeds don't don't matter like if it's an ibaraki then then you kind of want to make him faster okay don't look at my ibaraki my ibaraki is shit like like he he's only op half the time because he only has 51 percent crit rate i was just messing around with the souls yesterday because i had this uh claw crit damage which as you can see, they went to bullshit subs. I mean, the speed's alright, but like effect rest, fuck my life. Like, I really wanted the crit to go up. I digress, I digress. Alright. That's what you need to become a host. Do you know just these two units, which is. Where is it? It was the R units, yeah. Bunny, which is Yama Usagi, and Sashiki. These two, like, ensure that they're solid and have your own Muji up to totem level 36 minimum or best level 40 have him run protect and also star and everything should be all good and i just mentioned about the dps 100 percent crit 150 crit damage uh plus 3000 plus attack would be enough you know regardless if it's Ubume or tengu um ibaraki however is slightly different but yeah Ubume or tengu that, that's all you need and and why do we keep why do I keep saying bunny instead of Kamaitachi? Because Kamaitachi's skill Right uh where is, is it Bradley Bond? Yeah, Bradley Bond for Kamaitachi, he takes up three orbs. Whilst Bunny her attack bar move skill only takes up two orbs. So yeah, that's why I kinda recommend people to use Yamosagi instead of Kamaitachi. Because Kamitachi takes this. I mean, Kamitachi is great for PvP and everything else, but for Soul 10, I think it's just best to run a buddy because you don't even need to put much investment into it. You know, like, let's have a look at my souls. What do I have? Shit, I have plus zero, plus zero, plus zero. Right? Um, I got this at plus 11. Like, I, I don't put any effort into my bunny at all because she's only used for Soul 10 and these stats are enough to tank it. So, yeah, I hope that gives bit of insight into what you need to become a slave host okay slave host not the right thing it's a, it was an internal joke i did with my friends and like yeah we're looking for a slave host because we're so lazy to to click on the end screen then click on start battle then click on ready again because there's like three different clicks right yeah whilst if you were just joining on auto accept all you need to click is once at the end you know and everything else will be all right but if you do want to be carried like you know sometimes just hit me up just send me a message if i'm online in the game right send me a message say that uh, you want to host soul 10 for x amount of ap and um, if i'm free at that time and i have like i'll just ask around in my guild like whoever else wants to follow around with this and i'll be like cool we'll just run it you know because because i have dual dps most of my guildmates already have dual dps we just lacking people who could who want to carry us because everybody's trying to suppress the levels I, I just one small thing i want to talk about level suppression i didn't do it i'm like i just jumped straight away to level 60 kind of regret it because the realm rates you know realm is so annoying um i go in and i'm, I'm facing hey shit is not bad oh hey, julie we should just join our discord so let's see how her team does so yeah, they, they suppress their level so that their realm rates become easier. As you can see, I don't do many realm rates. I'm like correct 3,118 with only 116 medals even though it's already the third day. But yeah, uh, a lot of people suppress the level just by joining someone else's hosted stuff. But yeah, I hope this is this makes it clear for people what it is that you should do. Like, don't don't be. Don't be disappointed if the Krakens don't drop the things that you want. I mean, it's not... Or, or, or the Soul 10. All the Soul 10 for that matter. Because it is a grindy game. It's supposed to take that long for, for, the, for the drops to drop, you know. I mean, like... 
my souls are pretty bad. Okay, like I got lucky with the tango a bit. You know, this this stats are quite alright, but moving forward, like now, it's it's not that good anymore. See, I don't have many souls that I can give to people. I only have I only concentrate on like. It's easy if you just concentrate on one person, like DPS, once you're done with your Utengu or Ibaraki or whatever it is that you've concentrated on, then move on, move on to the next one. Like trying to perfect it is, it's just going to leave you stagnant. So like if you have acceptable stats, move on. And Kamatachi for speed, like people are like, oh, we got to keep doing speed and speed and speed. I'm like, if you keep doing speed and speed and speed, like you, and you don't get the good rolls, like you're going to be stagnant for a while it's all very luck dependent some people like like a friend of mine yesterday he jumped 40 speed so from he used to be at 210 speed now he's like 250 plus so i'm like wow nice because he just kept going at it but yeah i mean no 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 you know what like focusing on the speed is not a bad thing i guess i don't know i don't know what i'm trying to say here <laughs> i should cut that video like a few seconds prior to this like because like going in and concentrating on speed is not bad either not a bad idea either you know but only un un until only when you have like the rest of your stuff sorted out right but yeah that, that's all the stats you need for being a slave host and if at any time you need s10 carries just uh hit me up with a message if i'm online sure we could go if not then um try and world chat you know this is Zaf signing out then. Have fun for the three hours during maintenance.